Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with sense of a mom .com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing this Cuisinart Belgian waffle maker and I'm going to be showing you how I use it to make homemade waffles. So let's get started. First, let's take the waffle maker out of the box. Now, you guys may remember that I had a different waffle maker before and I really did love it. It was the Bella waffle maker and, um, well, it broke. Um, it did go through quite a lot between um, our moves and uh, being in storage and um, it just went through a lot and um, I used it here at our new home and it just uh, it just finally broke. Um, I think it would have lasted longer had we not uh, been through our moves and had it in storage and moved it from place to place and whatever but um, you know it, it broke. So my husband got me a new one for Christmas and I was not expecting this and I was so excited though because since our old waffle maker broke I've had to um, you know I either make pancakes which I love um, and my kids really enjoy homemade pancakes um, but if we wanted to have waffles then we have just had to have the ones from the grocery store which are okay but they are definitely um, they definitely, they definitely don't compare to homemade waffles. Homemade waffles are far superior and they taste way better than the kind you get at the grocery store. So I am super excited to be opening this today. Wow, this is really nice. And um, trying this out and especially since it's Cuisinart. Cuisinart is a great brand as you guys know. And okay, here it is. So let me set this aside. I think I have everything out of here. Let's open this up. Take it out. It's very similar to the Bella one, I can tell already, but it does seem more heavy duty. So I will link my other uh, video down in the description box below if you guys are interested in a Bella waffle maker. Um, it's I think it's pretty uh, budget friendly and like I said I really did enjoy having it and it cooked our waffles beautifully and everything and um, you know but I already told you our story so um, but if you guys want to check out that video check it out down below but this one is wow this one is really nice really nice I can see it, it, it is a little bit different of course and it's quite heavy duty and um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up now and give you guys a little bit of a better look. So here is a closer look of the waffle maker and I will go ahead and pop it open. And there is the inside. And I really like the drip pan that they sent with it. It's so nice, very lovely, so stylish. So I'm gonna slide that there. And then it also comes with a little cup so that you can measure out just the right size waffle. And I think that's really convenient. I think every waffle maker should come with a, come with a cup like that. So your waffles aren't too big or too small. And um, I really like that. And then it also comes with an instruction and a recipe booklet. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the waffle maker so that it's nice and clean and then I'm going to get my ingredients together and mix up my waffle batter. If you are interested in the recipe that I will be using today, I'll have the video linked down below where I shared that recipe and then I also shared it in a blog post on my blog and I will have that post linked down below as well. Okay, so my waffle batter is ready and I just doubled the recipe on my blog and I did add uh, a little bit of sugar to my waffles and then I didn't use whole wheat flour like the recipe on my blog because I just had regular white all-purpose flour so that is what I used and then I preheated the waffle maker so that's all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And the directions say to go ahead and use, well, the instructions for this waffle maker say to go ahead and use a cooking spray when you're making waffles. So I'm going to use this nonstick 
butter cooking spray that I got from Target. And then I'm going to measure out a waffle in this adorable little cup here. And I'm just going to pour it evenly over the waffle maker. There we go. Now I'm going to close this and give it a flip. Okay guys, so my waffle is done and ready to go. So I'm gonna open it up. And there it is, it looks delicious. So I'm gonna pop it out. There we go, and now my waffle doesn't look as perfect as I would have hoped it would have, but I didn't use, I didn't use the recipe in their recipe book. And I used my own recipe, so um, I'm going to have to play around with how much batter I put in there. I think I just need to add a little bit more batter, and I'll probably get some prettier looking waffles. But for right now, I'm going to top this with some butter and some syrup and some powdered sugar. There we go. I know my son is going to enjoy this. I'm going to um, give this to one of my younger boys to enjoy first, and then I am going to make some more waffles. Okay, so my next waffle did turn out better. I added a little bit extra batter, and I also kind of spread the batter out over the waffle maker, and it looks good. Okay guys, so dinner is over and it was delicious. Here are our leftovers. And overall, I think the Cuisinart did a great job. Although I do think that it is a little bit messier than our Bella waffle maker. Um, I just feel like uh, more of the butter that was actually in the batter kind of came out of the Cuisinart than um, it would with the Bella. I don't know why, but um, it's just a little bit messier. But I'll go ahead and get that all cleaned up and clean up the rest of my kitchen. Um, and I did want to mention also, just in case I didn't earlier in this video, that this video um, is not sponsored or anything like that. My husband uh, gave me this waffle maker for Christmas. So yes, I did wait four months to open it and share it with you guys. I just wanted to unbox it uh, with you guys. So that's why I waited. And plus I, I'm a big procrastinator. <laughs> so I wanted to get this video done earlier and I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back on my calendar. But I'm finally, I'm glad to finally have it done today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.